Cholangic carcinoma is a devastating uh, cancer which affects the bile ducts. Uh, it is unfortunately rising in incidence throughout the world and accounts for approximately 15% of all liver cancers. It's often associated with inflammation of the bile ducts, but in some cases, no cause is known. The ideal treatment for cholangiocarcinoma is surgical removal. Unfortunately, it often presents at a stage where that is not an option. Cholangiocarcinoma doesn't respond to chemotherapy, and this contributes to the terrible survival rate, which is 5% at five years. In other words, only uh, one in 20 people who present with a disease will currently be alive in five years time. The purpose of this study uh, is to understand which are the drivers of growth of the cancer. If we understand which signals cause a tumour to grow, we can hopefully then develop new treatments for the tumour. We noticed that all of the cholangiocarcinomas were surrounded by a large number of cells called macrophages. Macrophages are cells with many roles in the body. They help to fight infection, but importantly, they're also involved in the repair of damaged tissue. It is known that in the development of cancers, macrophages can also supply signals which can drive the growth of those tumours. Macrophages express many factors, including one we call wind. And wind helps tissues to repair themselves following injury, but it also can be involved in driving the development of cancers. We therefore decided to look at whether macrophages and a signal they supply, WINT, is involved in driving the growth of cholangiocarcinoma. We developed uh, two models of cholangiocarcinoma, one in mice and one in rats. This allows us to look at the development of the disease as well as uh, the cancer forming in these animals. Uh, we use these models because they really closely resemble how human disease develops and how cancer then forms. By looking at animal models and human tissue, we found that tumour-associated macrophages produce wind, and this drives the growth of the cholangiocarcinoma. We have found by using experimental drugs that if we block the wind pathway, we can prevent the tumours from growing. We're very excited by these results because wind inhibitors have been used in patients with other forms of cancer. What we'd like to do now is test such experimental drugs in our patients with cholangiocarcinoma. If we can find a positive benefit, we can develop, potentially, a new treatment for patients with cholangiocarcinoma, currently a devastating disease with very few treatment options.